Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lesson. We have number 5 of this unit, uh, variable exponents. We're going to be multiplying and dividing. Uh, we're going to have numbers and variables. So we are going to uh, keep those separate, essentially. That is the rule of the day. We're going to keep numbers and variables. I have a brand new pen. I don't know how long this will stay good for. <laughs> That's so thin. Keep numbers and variables separate, essentially, when we're doing these. That's the rule of the day. Let's go. Uh, first one, we have 2m divided by 6m times 2m to the power of 2. Well, we are going to keep the top and the bottom separate for a while, and then we are going to uh, divide them at the end, uh, but we're going to keep that general rule. Uh, we are going to multiply the numbers and we are going to multiply the variables. So what we have on top, we just stays the same. We've got two to the two M and that's it. Divided by six times two is 12 and M to the power of one times M to the power of two, that's M to the power of three. And now, since everything is done on the top and the bottom that we can do, we're going to go ahead and divide them. So 2 and 12 are like a fraction. And we are going to reduce that fraction as much as we can. So we can divide both of them by 2 and get to 1 sixth. So when we have 1 sixth, we don't have to put the 1. We just put the 6. And we're going to then go ahead and do this, well we do have to put the one, I'll put the one, it's okay. We're going to go ahead and subtract uh, three from one. So that's m to the power of negative two. To get rid of the negative exponent, we need to put that on the bottom. So we end up with one over six m squared. All right, I took this whole m to the power of two and I put it on the bottom made that exponent positive. What I was left with was one on top. So in this case is why I left it. In some cases I won't, uh, but I kept the numbers and the variables separate. Let's go to the next one. Five K squared divided by five K squared times two K. Top and the bottom keep separate. Nothing I can do on the top. Five times two is 10. And k squared times k is k to the power of 3. We're going to go ahead and reduce the fraction at the same time as subtracting these. So that's 1 half and k to the minus 1. Sorry, minus 1. Can't see that, eh? It's a minus 1 there. There we go. And we're going to get rid of that negative exponent. We end up with 1 over 2k. We don't have to write the one exponent. Oh, you can't see that. I'm just having a go of it today. One over two K. We don't have to write the one exponent. Okay, let's do another one. We have five B squared multiplied by four B squared divided by three B to the power of three. Do the top and the bottom separately. The bottom is going to be staying the same for a bit. 5 times 4 is 20. And b squared times b squared, doing the variables, is b to the power of 4. We're going to see if we can reduce. We cannot reduce the fraction 20 over 3. That is as low as it can go. So we're going to go ahead and subtract these. Uh, 4 minus 3 is 1. So we're left with 20 over three, and then on the top, just b. I could say b to the power of one, because four minus three is one, but that right there is our answer. Let's do another one. Two a cubed over five a times seven a. Top and the bottom separately. Top stays the same for now. Five times seven is 35. A times A is A squared. The fraction 2 over 35 is as um, reduced as it's going to get. So we're going to then subtract 2 from 3. 
So that's 2 over 35, and we have A on top, and that is our final answer. If you feel like you're getting the hang of it, go ahead and pause and give the next ones a try and see if you get them right. But I will continue on here for a little longer. I am going to... I'm going to skip this first one. I'm going to go right to 14, okay? Bear with me. Uh, 8x squared times 8x divided by 4x. Top and the bottom separately, that's 64. x to the power of 3 over 4x. We can reduce this at least once. Divide them both by 2, that's 32 over 2. But I can do that again. I can do that one more time and get 16 over 1, and then I can subtract my uh, exponents as well. So this is 16, and then 3 minus 1 is x squared. So there we go, there is no fraction. Got rid of everything on the bottom. Let's do 15. 3 n to the power of 4 over 4 n times 4 n squared. Top and the bottom separately. 4 times 4 is 16. n times n squared is n to the power of 3. Reduced as much as it can already, 3 over 16. So we just go ahead and subtract the exponents. Uh, that just leaves us with n on top. 3n over 16 is our final answer. And the last one, uh, we're going to get a little bit of a larger number, but that's okay. 4, well, something disconnected. Is that anything important? Yes, it was. Give me a second, everybody. My document camera disconnected. Well, you know what? We'll just call that a lesson, and I'll see you next time with a working document camera. Bye.